Love is, I think, impossible to define outside of an all-knowing, all-seeking, all-encompassing divine. Oh, we love the romantic imagery, cupids on clouds with arrows at hearts aimed, valentine cards adorned with fluffy poems attempting to make our feelings named. Hearts everywhere we turn in garish shades of magenta, rose and vermilion, singing the commercial tune of profits made in their millions. It's all about couples, finding the right one and enjoying being entwined, flowers, gifts and a very public display of being wined and dined. Cynical, me. Perhaps just a little bit worn, tired of the metaphors, the fluff and the corn. I'm not averse to it all, just a shallow description of a deeply profound emotion that we simplify, attempt to explain, mislabel as we seek to pin down this devotion. And there's more. The confusion of feelings, thoughts, lustful dreams and sensations, touching, breathing together, intimately exploring with elation. Is this love for the porn generation? If all we need is love, there has to be more to discover than romance, flowers, cards and fun times with each other. But if we look again with the eyes of one higher than us all, then perhaps love becomes clearer and might hold us forever in its enthrall. For more than a moment, a season, an infatuation, but for a lifetime of essential captivation. As we fix our eyes on the one who died in the ultimate gift of penetrating passion, might true love be revealed to us all in all its unconditional glory without ration? That same depth of love can be made complete in us if we love one another, our friend, our neighbour, even our enemy must come under that cover. Could we choose to give of a love so much more than a fleeting, touching sensation, but in our own generous offering a deeply personal, sacrificial donation? Not just giving to the ones with whom we share our inner facts, the partner, the kids, the friends in our carefully chosen packs, but the one caked in dirt, the one who seems unlovable, the outcast and the frail, even the one who seeks to poison us with a venomous cocktail. If we want to reveal that ultimate love, we need more than scarlet letters and pretty fluffy words. We need strength and compassion and understanding that comes from the word. In his love, may ours be given without manipulation, without commerce or cute, but making love as a sacrifice given to one another, powerfully resolute.